Uh, I guess last year you guys obviously were in the same spot with this opportunity to win a sectional final and get to state but lost. How much did that loss motivate this team to get back to that point so that um, they had another opportunity obviously to win and seize that chance and get to state? How much did that serve as a motivation for this year's team? I don't know. <laughs> we never talked about it. So individually maybe it did, but we never talked about we, never, we just never talked about last year that we, we just needed to move on and, and build this team to get it better than what it was at the beginning of the season because we brought in some new people. and um, So we, we really don't use that. We didn't use that as motivation really whatsoever. The biggest difference between this year and last year is my father passed away the day before the sectional final last year. That's not happening this year. So we, we've got... I think, I think we've gotten a lot more softball focus this year than we had last year because of because of me being at the hospital all the time for 10 days and kids coming to the hospital and all that kind of stuff. So I think our I think our focus is more softball than it was a year ago. For the girls that were, I guess, key, key players on that team or even for the girls that were able to just be on the bench and kind of watch, um, how much did getting to that point and getting an, an opportunity in a sectional final, even though you lost, how much do you think that experience um, can help you guys tomorrow, or or do you think it can? Well, as a coach, you would hope that playing in big games, win or lose, and intense, tight situations w would would be able to carry you over whatever obstacles get in your way in tight situations and things like that. I think, you know, we had, we had a tough practice at the beginning of practice tonight, tonight and there was some barking and bellering going on. And, um, you know, I made a list of I made a list of things the last two nights that I thought that could hurt us and, and cost us to get beat, just little things that maybe a lot of people didn't practice today. We didn't perform them very well. So I was a little bit angry at myself. More than that, I was really angry at myself for not having worked on them more. So... You know, they had some pressure put on them tonight because we needed to polish things up and they weren't understanding. I was doing a poor job of teaching and they weren't understanding my poor teaching. So once they got, once I became a better teacher, then they got it and, and we got better and now we can cover that situation. When you look at the last two games, the regional final, the one run win with the, you know, the first hit coming late in the game to score the difference, and yesterday, I'm sorry, on Tuesday with. Um, you know, giving up the lead in the top of the seventh, but getting out of the bases loaded jam and then scoring to win in the bottom of the seventh. When you look at winning that way, what is the biggest char characteristic about this team um, that you would that you would kind of point to as how they were able to battle through the you know those adversities and and come out on top in very close games? Trust. Just trust. They trusted me that we walked the bases loaded. They still trusted me that I knew what I was doing or thought I knew what I was doing when, when a girl lays down a perfect bunt and they tie us. Um, I, I think they just trusted that Kirsten was going to find a way to get a couple people out. She struck the next two people out. I trusted her that she'd make pitches that she had to make and that she wouldn't throw anything down the middle. I think the whole people, the whole the whole program is all about trusting each other and, and knowing that the next person that wherever the play is, has to be made is going to get made. And then looking forward from those two losses, um, as a coach, I guess in what ways or do you anticipate that winning the way you guys did in the last two games could help you if it's another close game and it's, all right, we've been here sort of thing? I mean, do you expect those close wins to be able to help you guys tomorrow if if it's a close game or you're down by a run late or you're struggling a little bit, do you expect that to be the case? One word answer, sureness. It all comes down to sureness. Just having practice situations, being sure of what you're going to do, being sure of being sure that you know how many outs there are, being sure that you know where the runners are, being sure you know what the next where the next play is going to be made if it's hit to my hit to their left or hit to their right or hit right at them. Just it's just all about being sure. That's what this is all about. As a coach, what kind of sense have you gotten or have you gotten a sense for what it means to this year's team to take advantage of this opportunity now and get to state and kind of put their stamp on a obviously very successful um, program? Have you sensed that as something that means a lot to them? I haven't, I haven't really been looking for that in particular the whole season. I've just been looking for sureness. I've been looking for trust. 
I've been looking for the ability to dig deep and get something from somebody else. And if they don't, if they don't, if they don't get the job done, and there's still an out, out, to, out to be had. Or the other day we we had, we struck out with a with the winning run at third and one out to go. The next player stepped up. So that's that's what I'm always looking for is 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 the ability to move on and and make the next play. Um, you know, I've always said that coaches don't build team chemistry. I've never I've never built team chemistry ever in anything I ever coached. All I ever did was give the opportunity for the team to build their own chemistry. This team's chemistry is different than last year's. This team's chemistry is different from the other the first 31 years I've been here. They're all a little bit different. As soon as you put one new person into the mix, that personality is different and everything is different. So all I ever try to do here is be as fundamentally sound as we can in every situation that comes up so that we're never surprised by a situation. And if you do those things, the little fundamentals carry you through. Motivation comes from them. I don't, I don't, I'm not big on motivational speeches. I guess then lastly, um, you guys, uh, the program obviously has a long history of success and a lot of good teams. And so I'm not going to ask you to compare this team with teams from the past. But in what ways is this team maybe unique from um, some of the other very successful teams that you've had in the past? I guess the uniqueness just comes from, you know, the different personalities and, you know, one can find humor in something that's, that's really tense and others, others find tenseness in things that are even humorous. So they're all different in, in the personnel and the way they interact with each other. And I guess that's one of the reasons why you know, I keep hanging around because I, I really wouldn't want them to be all the same. That wouldn't be any fun. Um, what's been fun is to watch this group mature and at the seniors mature and the underclassmen mature bring in some younger kids and meld them in because some of the younger kids have had some prime playing time and just 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 have that sureness and that stick to itiveness and and you know it, it's not really a team game it is a team but you have to be together but if the balls hit to the shortstop the center fielder doesn't have a whole lot to do with that play physically but but they all have something to do with it mentally like nice job after the play you know we all have to come out here every day and be friends for two hours mm -hmm. we don't have to be friends when we leave but for two hours we need to be best friends and that's what this team has been able to accomplish this year and I think that's one of the biggest steps they've taken is they've they've learned how to become best friends for at least two hours a day was there anything else that you wanted to add coach mm -hmm. awesome good luck tomorrow thank you